Well, the Indiana Department of Health says it hopes to soon open up vaccination appointments to Hoosiers ages 65 to 69. See, it all depends on vaccine supplies. Right now, only health care workers, first responders, residents of long term care facilities and people 70 years and older are able to sign up for an appointment to get the vaccine. The state says its age based approach is designed to prevent deaths and hospitalizations from COVID. People 70 years and older make up roughly 11% of Indiana's population, but they make up 78% of the deaths from COVID. Vicki Schrader has several health conditions, including diabetes and an irregular heartbeat. Despite those conditions, Vicki cannot get access to the vaccine before she's eligible. She turns 69 in a few weeks. I do understand that. I do. Yeah. And, you know, it's 70 and above now, so I'll be in the next group. But I really hope they get busy make manufacturing the vaccine, and I hope they continue having a good distribution plan for the vaccine. According to state health officials, there are over 200 sites across the state administering the vaccine. Well, when it comes to what's causing the delay and the rollout to other groups, there are a few roadblocks, so a big one. There's just not enough to go around right now. There is some good news, though, on that front, with Indiana expected to get an additional 13,000 vaccine doses a week from here on out. And the Biden administration secured another 200 million doses from both Pfizer and Moderna. They're expected to arrive by summer. But the other issue is the number of appointments that are stacking up. Some people are waiting weeks for an available time slot because of that high demand. There's some good news, though, on that front, too, with Kroger, Meyer, and Walmart now offering appointments at 68 locations across the state, most of them in areas where vaccine clinics are just few and far between. The website, ourshot.in.gov, links you to all of these available vaccine locations and the times near you. But there is a snag there, too. Some Hoosiers who are eligible right now are struggling to sign up. So our Alan Carter found a few groups across the state that are dedicated to fixing that. Of eligible seniors, 54% of Hoosiers 70 and over have either gotten vaccinated or are scheduled to be. But the work of reaching the other 46%. Hi, this is Lenore with Livestream Services. Is, is happening places like here. Help scheduling your COVID vaccine. Livestream Services is a resource center for seniors in Delaware and 11 surrounding counties. We provide everything from congregate meal sites, home delivered meals, we have transportation. But director Jeannie Hamilton says that focus lately has shifted. So that's what we've been doing. Did you know it's available? You're eligible. Would you like us to help you sign up? So workers are on the phone. I was just returning a call. To Every day. And may I have your date of birth, please? Answering questions. I can look that up for you. Making appointments. Do you want to go in the morning or afternoon? Most of the people wouldn't be able to register unless they got help because they don't have a smartphone or a computer or, or know how to use a website. Staff here make or take more than 100 calls a day. Returning your voicemail. And so far have registered over 500 seniors for vaccinations. Yeah, they're filling up fast, so I'm glad you got scheduled. And for some of them, the work is personal. Yeah, I do think about it that way. Um, this lady is part of the reason why I am so um, adamant about um, helping seniors, like she's my grandmother and she's 85, like she's my best friend, so. If you're vaccine eligible, you can call 211 for help navigating or any of the state's 16 agencies on aging. Thank you, you have a great day, bye-bye. Yeah, we still have a long way to go to get the shot to all 5.3 million Hoosiers who are eligible to get the shot. In Howard County, health leaders opened up what may become a mass vaccination clinic. Our Rich Van Wyk has more. Howard County opened this new, much larger clinic with the expectation that it's going to receive more vaccines, a lot more vaccines. The county's allotment has increased from 300 to 500 to the promise of 1,100 doses next week. The facility could easily dispense twice that much of vaccine a week. Howard County wants to be up, running, ready, and prepared for mass vaccinations once mass quantities of the vaccines arrive.